All right, raviolis, look at all these things. Yeah, so this is a big challenge. I weighed these up. I should have a video on the screen. This is over 18 pounds of raviolis. Actually, I did a video of raviolis before. It was the Chef Boyardee raviolis, which are much, much soupier than this. So kind of easier. Actually, I did a lot more weight too. I think it was like over 20 pounds of those, but I don't know if I'm going to finish all this. It's going to be a little bit different challenge. It's instead of me trying to finish it, I'm going to put a time limit and see how much I can eat in that time limit because I don't want to sit here for an hour today. Oh, I just don't want to do it. So, um, yeah, a little bit different video. So these actually are not canned raviolis. These were frozen raviolis. Let's see the name here. The Let's see. Mama Rosie's. So, yeah, these were, uh, they like come frozen, but I had the bright idea of letting them thaw out. I thought if they thawed out and I put them in the boiling water that they would cook faster. What a disaster. They all stuck together into a clump. And I had to, one by one, I had to peel them off. Oh, it was a mess. But I finally got them done. I wasn't sure if they all cooked well, you know, in the boiling water. Because I was just, I was getting all mad and frustrated. So after I got everything done, I actually made this last night. Um, I put it in the oven, baked it for two hours. So I think everything's cooked. I'm not eating raw dough. So, yeah. So this is going to be a little bit different challenge. I got my drink. I got my timer, I think it's all set. Hopefully you guys can see that. I got it set on minutes. So it's set for 25 minutes, 11 seconds and I'll hit the start button and then when it says 25, I'll go. But I have a feeling, I was gonna do 20 minutes, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be hot and it's gonna slow me down. So I gave him 25. Again, the goal is to see how much I can eat. It's not necessarily to finish. It'd be nice if I could finish, but this is a lot. This thing, I was carrying this thing around, oh my God. I don't know why I do this, so. Anyways, let me start the timer. Maviolis. This is kind of like a different contest. In the United States, we have a speed contest. In Japan, they have like longer form contests. I'm not sure the time limit on them, but I think it's long, like 25, 45 minutes. So kind of like more of like a Japanese style contest challenge here. So let me just hit start. Yeah, I can feel the heat coming off this. I, I even put this like out on the cold porch for a little while to try to cool down. And I don't know. All right, so there's the timer. Let me just get going. I actually haven't tasted. These are all cheese raviolis. They're very dense. Hmm. It tastes like more like eating lasagna. Like a very dense lasagna. Holy cow. It's hot. Holy moly. It tastes just like eating lasagna, even like around the edges, how you get like that chewy bit or a little bit crunchy sometimes. It has exactly the same thing. The top of this thing is nice and cool. The middle is like lava. You know, if you would have used like meat sauce and maybe like a little bit more cheese, this could have, this is like... I don't know, you could probably call it like ravioli lasagna and it'd be pretty good.
I don't think I'm going to do very well on this one. The only bad thing about this challenge is after I slobber all over all this, I really can't give it away. No one's going to want to eat it after I slobber it all over it. I'll have to eat this for like a week. If I don't finish. If. I hope I can get like at least through 10 pounds of this. Oh my God. Another reason why I wanted to have a shorter time is because I knew right off the bat, I should be eating, but I knew right off the bat that this was gonna sit super heavy because I am so sore in the stomach. I went too heavy in the gym, or did too much and oh man, I am sore. It's like super, super dense going down. Not like your typical raviolis. Yeah. Probably needs way more sauce. I haven't put a dent in this thing. Oh man, I got the sniffles too. I was outside shoveling this morning. Oh. Shoveling on an empty stomach is no fun either, so. <sighs> <clears throat>
the stuff in the bottom, I don't know if it absorbed more of the liquid or it just got less sauce. It is really, really thick. The stuff on top definitely tastes better. This is what they call a bad eating day. I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder if Joey has bad days that he's training for hot dogs. Like, does he have a... Like a bad day and he only gets like 60. <laughs> I definitely had some bad training days doing hot dogs. Oh. I used to keep a jar or a, a, a container of water in the fridge, you know, drink cold water in the summer. And I left it in there too, too long. I must've left it on the counter or something and I put it back in the fridge and it was slime water. So I had some of that a little while before I went and did a hot dog practice. Whew. That did not end well. I did not even finish the run. I think I ate half of it, which is terrible. <clears throat> All right, I want to at least try to get. 10 pounds of this in. 10 pounds is awful, but. I can feel how tight my stomach is. It's not stretching at all. That'll go away in a couple days, but in the meantime, it's not good for this. I used to go to the gym and stuff when I go to contests. I used to like, like find the gym in the area and, and uh, go to contests, but that hurt me. I remember one time, I had a chicken wing eating contest. I went to the gym, did a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> and my hands were like so tired from the gym because I was doing grip stuff. And uh, I did awful at that chicken wing contest. <clears throat> Lesson learned. I think probably the best competitive eaters are people that are not really physically active because they they can their, their stomachs and stuff can really stretch because they don't haven't they haven't really developed their core or you start when you're really young and then you don't have a really developed core either. But I started too late. My stretching ability is not the best. I think that's why Joey is probably so good at capacity because he's a bigger person to begin with, kind of barrel, big torso, 
but he doesn't like to do a lot of physical activity. So I think that really helped him out. He does, but I don't think he likes it. I mean, he doesn't do it all the time very active. When he doesn't have to, I don't think he does it. Oh. All right, minute 36. Mm. <clears throat> Not a very good showing. Let's see if I got a last minute sprint in me. All right. <clears throat> All right. Ah, oh, 25 minutes on the clock. We'll clear the spoon off. No cheating. I don't know. What do you think I got for poundage? I think maybe... Uh, hmm. Half. We don't count that spoon. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing... 11, 11 pounds is what I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah. So that's what I got left. Horrible showing, but actually it just shows you the difference. Like when you're, you just can't, I don't just sit down and eat these giant meals. Like I can't just sit down and do it. I gotta, I gotta do some prep work. And sometimes that prep work doesn't go down and sometimes it does. And huh, you have good contests and bad contests. And yeah, so Actually, this wasn't bad. I knew I wasn't going to finish it. This not today. I didn't have it in me. I got a really busy week, and I'm not going to be able to film this week, so I wanted to get this done today. <sighs> I do got more room, though. I'm happy about that. I was just eating slow. All right. I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to weigh it. Like, subscribe. All right. Ugh.